Do I need to wear formals? Can I wear jeans? Do I need to look married? So many questions about what to wear for the F1 visa interview. And in this video, I'm going to be covering all of this, so keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There is an entire playlist for the F1 visa and we have a playlist for the fall 22 intake as well. So make sure that you check all of this out. Now, we got a lot of questions about what should we exactly wear to our visa interview. And there's a lot of confusion of whether you're supposed to wear formals, whether you should dress casually as a student and so on and so forth. So in this video, I'm going to break down all of this for you and make dressing for your F1 visa interview really simple. So let's get started. Also make sure that you watch the video till the end because at the end I'm going to be sharing some special tips as to how you can stand apart from the crowd. So if you want to get noticed and stand apart from the rest of the people who are there who are giving the interview, make sure that you watch till the end. And yeah, if you're wondering where am I sitting, where am I? Well, I'm currently in London and this is a beautiful, beautiful park. It's called the Regent's Park. It's one of the main parks in London and I'm here today spending some of the time here and I thought it's a great place and a great location to shoot this video. So well, here we are. Now, before we start, let me give you an overview of why dressing correctly and dressing well for your visa interview is really important. Now, when you're standing in the line, right, waiting for your turn, many times the VO will actually glance over and take a look at who's next and who he's going to interview subsequently. And that is the first chance that you have of making an impression, or rather a good impression, at the visa officer. So even before you actually reach the visa officer and start your interview, he has already made a perception about you. He already has certain notions about you uh, in his mind. And a way in which you can influence it positively is by the way you dress. So if you look at the guidelines from the embassy, nowhere do they specify that you need to wear formals. In fact, there is no dress code specified at all. However, I would still recommend dressing in formal clothing because A, it's an interview and B, the person who is interviewing you is actually wearing formals. So, so it's just more apt and more appropriate to wear formals. Now, when it actually comes to wearing the formals, it need not be strict business suit or you know really strict formals. There are many casual pieces that you can make work. So, I'm going to now uh, talk about what are the specific pieces of clothing that you can wear for the visa interview. So let's get into that part. So if you're still here, still watching the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you've already booked your visa slot, if you managed to get a slot, then do comment below your interview date and let me know. So let's start with the ladies. Now the ladies can wear either Indian formals or Western formals. So if you want to wear Indian formals, you can wear a formal looking kurta. Something, you know, which is in neutral colors would be good. Avoid any kurta which is too blingy, which is too flashy. And along with the kurta, you can also add a dupatta to make the entire look look more complete and more formal. Now, of course, with the kurta, feel free to pair it with churidar pants, with parallel pants, or anything else that would go with it. So essentially think of how you would wear Indian wear to your office or let's say to a business meeting and pick accordingly for the visa interview as well. Ladies can also wear western formals and again in western formals the choices are endless. So you could wear a nice formal dress, you could wear formal pants and with this you need not necessarily wear a button shirt but that works well as well. Uh, but instead of the button shirt you could wear a formal looking blouse, a formal looking top and all of these also look really good and neat for the visa interview. Also take care while selecting your footwear. So when it comes to the ladies, uh, there is no strict formal footwear as such, but try to avoid footwear which again looks too casual or something which looks too fancy or too blingy. So try to go for closed shoes, closed sandals um, and even if you are, you are going for the open sandals, try to wear things which again look something like you would be comfortable wearing to an office. So yeah, so this in a nutshell is the dressing 101 for ladies for the F1 visa interview. Now what's not good for the ladies or rather what has to be avoided are jeans, anything which has ribs, tears in them, round neck t-shirts or even collar t-shirts and of course shoes and sneakers. So completely avoid this and stick to anything from what we have discussed earlier. Now coming to the men. Now for the boys the choices are actually quite limited. 
so you have to stick to again formal wear so you could choose a nice button shirt so a button collared shirt either full sleeves or half sleeves will do and with this you can pair a pair of formal pants now this could be the proper formal pants you could also wear something on the lines of corduroy pants with khaki pants uh, basically anything other than jeans would be fine for the guys and again pay uh, pay attention to your footwear so make sure that you're wearing closed formal shoes so completely avoid sneakers and go for shoes which look formal enough so a very quick check to do whether you are dressed appropriately or not is think of how you would dress if you were to go to meet a client right so if you're going on a business meeting to meet a client how would you dress for the interview that's the kind of dressing that you need to put in for the visa interview as well and again what's not good for the guys is t-shirts any type round neck collared neck t-shirts i would recommend to completely avoid them jeans shorts or chappals please avoid them also please try to avoid any sort of hats caps right because again all of this give a very casual vibe and that's not something that you need the visa officer to take note of so all right so this is the dressing 101 for f1 visa interview and i would also like to add a small note about work visas so some of you watching here might be going for your work visa it could be h1 l1 so the dressing uh, 101 actually remains pretty much the same but for work visas you can just take up the level of formal uh, ness in your clothes up a notch so especially if you're going for l1a then i would recommend adding on a blazer right so especially for l1a interviews a blazer just makes it very clear to the visa officer that you have a slightly different profile and another small note about dressing that i want to add here is that you can also dress as per your background and as per your profession if you have a specific one just to give you an example we had a priest who recently appeared for an f1 visa interview and he was going for masters in theological studies and for the visa interview we recommended him to wear his priest collar because that made his profile and his profession extremely clear to the visa officer and also helped the visa officer to you know understand what exactly was his purpose of visit to the us and it worked really well the visa officer actually took notice of his attire uh, in fact even asked him to recite few passages from the bible so if you have a specific occupation which can be identified by a uniform or a specific attire and of course this is relevant to the masters or the program that you're going for in the us you could wear that as well so In a nutshell this is everything that you need to know about dressing for F1 visa interview. I really hope that this has helped you because we get so many questions. Uh many times students send us photographs asking us if this is okay to wear and I just wanted to make a video to help all of you with this regard. So we have more useful content coming up in the F1 visa series. The season is just beginning, things are just heating up. So stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe, press the bell icon and stay tuned for the next video. Also coming uh, also talking about the actual visa interview. So if you're looking for interview prep and if you're looking for a way to smash your F1 visa interview, well, here we are. There are various ways in which you can prepare with me. You can take a one-to-one -one session for answer structuring, clearing your doubts. You can take a mock session to help you get practice to make sure that you're confident and you're like really spot on with your answers and for the fall 22 intake we also have a special 7 day course or 7 day package and this again is an end to end prep which covers everything from filling your ds160 form to giving you multiple mocks so details of all the good stuff is mentioned in the description box below there are also a bunch of free downloads to help you with your visa interview so do check it out and yes if you have any doubts feel free to leave them in the comment section below or dm me directly on instagram my instagram handle is achachi.mal that's all for today signing off from sunny london and i'll see you in the next one bye bye